The title of our hot topic today is keep praying until you hear something. And we're going to talk about persistence in prayer, praying until we get an answer from God. And why is it that we just can't pray for something? God knows that we prayed for it. And why can't we just wait until he answers then? But God instead wants us to keep praying for it today on Hot Topics. This is Robert Furrow, and welcome to Hot Topics. If you're new here, consider liking, subscribing, sharing, ringing the bell so you can get all of our new videos. The comment section is open below. We would love to hear from you. In Luke chapter 18, Jesus gives a parable. And it's an interesting parable, but it starts off this way. It's Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Now, this is one of the rare parables where we're told what it means. We're told beforehand because the parable itself can be a little confusing and the reason Jesus spoke it so that we would not lose heart because sometimes we ask God about something and we ask him again and we ask him again and we don't get the answer and we can lose heart. The Bible tells us in Galatians 6, 9, and let us not grow weary in doing good for in due season we will reap if we do not lose heart. What a good encouragement. And the same phrase that Luke uses, so we don't lose heart. So it's possible we can tr keep trying to do good, keep praying, and eventually lose heart. The Bible also tells us in Hebrews 6, 12, that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises of God. That is faith, trusting what God says, and patience, waiting for God to answer what he has already promised us in his word. And so by faith and patience, we inherit the promises of God. Here's the parable. There was in a certain city, a judge who did not fear God nor regard men. I don't know that that's ever good, by the way. Now there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying, get justice for me from my adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterwards, he said within himself, though I do not fear God nor regard men, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. Then the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. So this is kind of a strange parable. Is God comparing himself to an unjust judge? Not at all. Instead, it's a contrast. There are parables of comparison and parables of contrast. It's saying if an unjust judge will finally do what this widow wants because she's been persistent, how much more will God, who loves you, answer your prayers when you are persistent in prayer? Let me give you a couple Bible verses on persistence in prayer. First, Matthew 7, verse 7. It says, ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. What an incredible promise that if we ask, we're going to receive. If we seek, we're going to find. If we knock, the door will be open. And in the Greek, it's in the continual. That is, ask and keep asking. Knock and keep knocking. In other words, the condition for us finding is that we keep seeking. The condition that we would receive is that we keep asking. Now the question is, why would God want us to keep asking? Why do we need to keep praying? I have three reasons. Number one, God wants fervency from us. He wants us to pray with fervency. And even though we could pray fervently one time, when we pray fervently several times, we are like Christ who in the Garden of Gethsemane prayed for the will of the Father over his will. And this is important when we're talking about persistence as well, because we're not just trying to get our will done, we're trying to get God's will. We want God's will in our lives. However God would answer it, we know that his will is good, acceptable, and perfect. And we want to pray with fervency. And so Jesus prayed three times, not my will, but your will be done. Paul said, I prayed three times that the thorn in the flesh would be removed, and that would be with persistence. In James chapter 5, verse 16, the second part of the verse, it says, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Now, again, I love that. 
It's telling us that prayer is powerful, the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man. And because of other passages, I would say part of being effective is persistence in prayer. And then fervent, that why we're doing it, we're calling out to God with great fervency. And it accomplishes much. Number two, and this may be a little closer to home, and that is that we are in a spiritual battle. Daniel is praying in the book of Daniel, and he prays for 21 days. And when the angel finally appears, he says, I left the day you began praying, but a prince battled against me and kept me from coming to you. And then he was spelled by Michael, the archangel, and he was able to finally bring his message to Daniel. Could this be a lesson to us? that we have a spiritual battle going on. And sometimes God's answers are on the way and that we need to be persistent, not giving up, not losing heart, not losing hope, that we would pray to receive God's will. Again, we're not trying to get what we want. We're trying to get what God wants. That's what it says in the Lord's prayer. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Same thing Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. The third reason God wants us to persist in our prayers is that he is testing our faith. And we might not like this. We might not like God testing us. I'm sure Abraham didn't like the test when God told him to test him, the text says, to go and sacrifice his son. But God's testing to reveal something to us and to reveal our hearts. Listen to what it says in 1 Peter 1, 7, that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. He's testing our faith, which is much more precious than gold, so that we will continue to believe in him, continue to seek him, continue to live for him. And so God wants us to pray until we receive the answer. The reason that our faith is so precious is because Hebrews eleven six says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I think at times when our faith is tested, we fail. We stop asking him. We stop seeking him. We are not persistent. And then other times we learn and we are persistent. We believe what God has said and we put our faith and our trust in him. I hope this video has been helpful, that you would be persistent in your prayers. Pray until you hear from God. A yes or a no is an answer, but pray until you hear from him. God bless you.